All right. First and foremost, so we're gonna say all well, praises be to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim and Kakadash, and I'm gonna say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone. Shalom to the sincere elect teaching the truth and faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Hey, man, and it's gonna be a quick video, man. And hey, you cannot make this up, man. You cannot make this up. Earlier today at the camp. We 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 we, uh, we we were speaking about about you know uh, uh, Christmas, how basically you know this Christmas tree in people's <laughs> uh, uh, homes like it's an idol, and bringing this this idol into your house, you know, it brings a it can bring you know it brings a curse upon the house because it's an idol, it's unclean, it's the penis of Nimrod, you know, and we was mentioning. At the camp that hey, there's people out there that that gonna die because their Christmas tree gonna catch fire. Lo and behold, I just I just 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 got home from being with with, with Arkham throughout the day. You know, this Christmas day, you know, I was, I was with Arkham. And I come home and, and say this. See this. Christmas Day house fire kills father and two children. Christmas Day house fire kills father and two children. All praises be to Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, and we were specifically speaking about the feast of a uh, Saturnalia, and even mentioning how on the last day of the feast, which was on the twenty fifth, there would normally be a human sacrifice, and we were saying that hey, on this last day of this period, you very well may have people die because of that Christmas tree catching fire, and what do we have here? I'm going to play the clip. Big story in action news is a real Christmas tragedy. A father and his two sons, ages 11 and 8, all killed during an early morning house fire in Quakertown. Now community members are rallying behind the mother and child who made it out alive. Action News reporter Gray Hall has details on what investigators say about this case. <laughs> Devastation, heartbreak, and tragedy on Christmas morning. Three of the uh, family members um, are deceased as a result of the fire. Investigators say this house fire took the lives of a 41-year-old dad and his two sons, only 11 and 8 years old. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help. You know, spiritual, the family, the, the, the father and two sons that died, right? You know, whether they're Jake or Esau, it don't, it, it don't matter. But the point is this. They're called the King family. The King of Terrors killed members of the King family. You know? I just found that spiritual. The, the King of Terrors, man. Called the King family. <laughs> the King of Terrors, man. This family identified as the King family of Quakertown. I couldn't see anybody, so I thought that they got everyone out, but... Uh... Yeah, it was kind of sad. You know, it was really, it really sad to realize that the yeah, end, not, not everybody was saved. The mother and another child were able to make it out of that fire alive. The Martinez family says they knew the victims. He was in my class. He he survived. His mother survived. I knew I knew them, and then I got the news that sadly his father and his and his brother's dad. Oh, I can't. It's. I mean, it's. I'm Christian. I hope, I, I know it's something after this life, but I don't want to lose, like, my kids. Police say the fire started around 1.30 a.m. at the home on Essex Court in Quakertown. Life changed like that. Firefighters say at times the flames were so intense that crews were pushed out of the home. They got word that victims were trapped, but unfortunately could not make it to them in time. And guess what? That's terrible, man. <laughs> they was in there going wow 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 we're looking at the christmas tree uh that may have have ignited as a result of oh 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 home they got word that victims were trapped but unfortunately could not make it to them in time. We're looking at the Christmas tree uh, that may have, have ignited as a result of uh, Christmas lights on that Christmas tree. About it. Can you make that up? And and for brothers and sisters, you saw our camp show, I'm, and I'm sure, you know, the apostles are going to, uh, you know, so brothers mentioned it at, at, at the camps about this Christmas tree. And guess what? The Christmas Day house fire kills two, three. 
An hour later, this fire was placed under control, but the damage it had caused was already unimaginable and irreplaceable. A day that's supposed to be about family and celebration, horrifically disrupted by fire. The mother and son who escaped were not seriously injured, but now live with the reality of what this fire robbed them of. It's part of your body. I mean, I can't believe the mom, one brother, no, no husband, no two sons, no father, no two brothers, so it, it that hurt. This community, deeply saddened and heartbroken by this Christmas tragedy, we can tell you a GoFundMe has already raised tens of thousands of dollars. And according to that GoFundMe, the couple were high school sweethearts. But sadly, this family forever devastated. This community has a big hole in its heart as it tries to come to grips with this enormous loss. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. Yeah, man. That's why you, you shouldn't be celebrating on Christmas and having no Christmas tree in the house. Again, we've possibly always said, if you have brothers in, in situations where you, you might be in family's house, they might give you a plate, hey, that's cool. Just p p p get the food and, 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 and p p pray to the Lord to, 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 to bless it. You know, but in terms of these people in the world that, you know, get all into the Christmas spirit and they, you know, have, they have the lights and the tree, you're bringing an idol into the house. And let's see what the scriptures say about that. Do Deuteronomy 7 and 25. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy power. And neither shall thou bring an abomination into thine house. And that Christmas tree is an abomination. You know, people think it's, oh, it's just an evergreen tree. Bro, you're, you know, bro. There, there's evergreen trees available in, in all periods of the year. But on Christmas, you just suddenly have to go and get it. Neither shall thou bring an, an abomination into thy house, lest thou be cursed, be a cursed thing like it. So when you bring that in your house and it's all there, it's cursed. And you're basically putting a curse on yourself. But it says, you know, again, you know, you, you know I'm just speaking, you know, what it is, you know. I doubt there's any brothers in the truth with Christmas trees. But again, apostles have mentioned already, you know, if you've got, got situations, you know, and, 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 you know, again, like, you know, you, are, you, you might even have some brothers who, who are in the faith are young, you know, they might be like 15, 16, still in their parents' house. Hey, you know, it's, hey, you know, just pray to the Lord for, you know. But, you know, the point I'm making is just in general, you know, it, it is an idol. And normally around this time of the year, fires such as this happen. Curse thing like it, but thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. And guess what? Dear Lord, through them spirits of vengeance, caused the fire to take place and kill them. Dear, dear Lord is the one who killed them. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and, and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, yeah, how about Shemel Shai do all these things, man? And that's what he did. You know, that, 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 then you got uh, Sirach 39. Right? It says, right? Uh, and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in a fury lay on soul strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. So so that fire appeased the, the wrath of the Lord, man. Fire, see fire. You know? Fire is the spirit. The, the scripture even speaks about uh the angel which have power over fire, man. You know? Fire, hell, and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. You right, so, so you know you have an angel of power of fire, man, and you know it's, the young Lord can use these angels on, on the right or on the left to to make f severe fires occur. You know, there's videos online where, 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 where you've seen, you know, f f fire essentially walk across the street to go and burn the other side. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. 
And when the time has come, they shall not transgress his word, man. Hey, man, that's what happened, man. The Lord put a spirit on them fires, man. To cause that to actually <laughs> happen. You know? Hey, man, so with that, hey, I'm going to say, oh, praise be to your Alba Shema Shabba Shema Kakadash. The one is possible in the elders, Great Moonstone. Next time I'm going to say, Hello, one.